In recent decades, a great deal of attention has been paid to reducing hospital-acquired infection and contamination by putting potentially or proven contagious patients in isolation. This consists of a private room, increased protective equipment for staff, along with other protective measures. Despite the best efforts of policymakers and procedure writers, there seems to be a strong disconnect between regulation and what happens on the front lines. In this series, we'll be discussing isolation infractions that are often overlooked. 